G'day everyone, welcome back to the True Footy YouTube channel for another update on the Game Day Squad competition that we've got going here on the channel. If you haven't joined the fun already, make sure you do so with the link in the description. It's all completely free to play and it's super fun. I'm having a great time building up my squad week to week, investing both in the short term and trying to build my squad for a longer term view as well. And I'm in particular focusing on my forward line at the moment. So in today's video, we're going to go through how the competition's going, how my team's going and a couple of ideas I've got again to improve my squad both through the transfer market and I've got my weekly starter packs to open as well. So as we always do we will acknowledge uh, who's winning the competition at the moment is still Peanut Butters with an impressive score of 15,801. I slipped to ninth despite my best efforts to improve my squad last week. I have dipped down the rankings because of some poor decisions by me and it didn't help that I went to New York on the weekend and missed a lot of the action and missed a couple of things like Dustin Heppel not playing. That was a blow. So I'm down in ninth with 9,000 292 you can actually go like this and see who the round winners were so peanut butters actually won round seven as well with 2510 points that's 800 points better than me if i'm not mistaken i'm down here 41st for the week poor effort by me poor effort but again a bit of a longer term view with my squad as well now you'll notice from last week my salary cap is a little bit higher than it was i'm up to 98.75 percent of the cap the reason i did that is because i shoehorned luke foley and dyson heppel who are both gold and therefore cost more into my side uh, i just had a bit of a feeling that luke foley would do well he scored 91 the previous week i backed him in to play well he only got 48 and that's with the multiplier of 1.3 because he's uh gold as well if you have a look what did he actually score yeah 91 last week 48 this week. Not great. And again, I totally missed Dyson Heppel not playing, which burned me, which I think means I get Brody Smith's 74 points here as well. But still, not ideal. But had some great scores. Look at Nick Newman here with 192. Yes, it did come, unfortunately, against my beloved West Coast Eagles, but I'll take 192 in game day any day of the week. Uh, Mason Redman, uh, Lockie Willer had quiet games, unfortunately. Luke Ryan as well. I think he was massive the week before with 144 down to 87 so my defenders were a little bit quiet this week midfield performed okay i think New newcomb uh, only scoring 93 and leaving neil on the bench for his 132 is where i missed a trick about clayton oliver 185 really justifying that purchase of him as a platinum player but day costs 115 laird 125 trelaw 100 if they're getting hundreds it's okay i want to get to a point where all of my players are hitting 100 each week down here in the rucks, unfortunately, I went with Tim English 109 uh, when I could have had Rowan Marshall 182. So I thought that would be a safe bet, but look, it's still his average is 137.6. As far as rucks goes, I can't uh, can't really complain about that. Nick Martin had a good game, 106. Josh Rochelle 105, a little bit quieter than I than I'd want. I'd, I'd love a gold player to be scoring 120 to justify that salary cap, but that's okay. Zoha 93 did better than his average. Cameron turned up. Charlie with 68 is not ideal. And I think when I look at improving my forward line, Charlie Cameron is probably one player that I will move on fairly soon just because he's so up and down. Obviously, what was it? A couple of weeks ago, he got 132 and then 134. So he's had some really big games, but being a small forward, he's capable of some quiet games as well. And Oscar Allen here, he's gold. Again, with the Eagles being so rubbish right now, I don't know if I want him taking up the salary cap that he is in my best 22 um, if I'm going to spend a, on a gold forward, I want these guys to be getting 120, 130 uh, with the boost as well. So Oscar Allen and Charlie Cameron might make way soon, as well as Zerha. Even though he got 93, I still think I can improve. So I've got some ideas for forwards to pick up. But before we get into that, I'm going to open the packs that I get for free each week. Now, I've got three cards to open by the look, or three packs. I've got a forward and two midfielder ones. So uh, I did want to improve my back line, but... Luck of the draw, I've got a forward and two midfielders one. So let's open them up. Who have we got here? Oh, I love this part. <clears throat> Click it to turn it. Zach Fisher. Okay, cool. Then we got two midfielder cards. Who have we got? Who have we got? Hopefully it's Nick Dacos. It is a bronze Seb Ross. Okay, so we can go back and look at their averages after this. I'll go back to that final pack here. Please be someone great. My midfield's already pretty good, so it doesn't really matter too much. Pat Dangerfield. Okay, cool. So what we'll do is go back to my squad. It looks like there's a little bit of a bug here. Um, it says that we're in lockout for the next five days, but if you scroll up, it says that it is currently not in lockout. So I think there's a bit of a bug. I'm either going to refresh it. There is a uh, function in the website where you can report bugs as well. So uh, we'll see what happens. So I might not be able to put the players into my team 
just in this video. But we'll go down to the reserves here and we can find those players that I just picked up. So here they are down at the bottom of the list. Uh, Zach Fisher's average is only 73.3 as a forward. Doesn't crack my side, although 96 last week is a good start. But again, 108 point win of the Eagles. Everyone's stats are going to be a little bit inflated from that game, I'd imagine. Seb Ross at 103.4, that's respectable, but I've got a strong midfield. Same thing with Dangerfield here, 106.4. Uh, what, what have he sort of scores? He's been putting up some pretty reasonable numbers, but again, it's nice to have in the background, but it doesn't really improve my best 22. All right, so let's have a look at the transfer market because this is a very precise and intentional way we can look for specific players to improve your squad. So I've liked doing this because I think it gives me a little bit bang for buck, or a little bit better bang for buck than uh, just buying like packs. So, so I've just clicked onto transfer market and these are the sorts of players that are just available right there. So Harry Sheasel, just out of curiosity, Platinum. It's going for $75. So that's the beauty of this as well. You can... If you get a really rare pack of a really valuable player, you can put them on the market and actually make some money if you want to. So with his platinum status, you can get him as a forward as well. 161, so that's juicy. I'm not gonna spend 75 bucks, not my thing. You can see Will Ashcroft, you can also get as a forward as well, which is uh, very, very valuable. Um, he's gone for 50 bucks. His average is only 125. He had a huge game against Fremantle, but I think the value with him is he's going to be a long-term gun high production player so uh, probably worth of 50 bucks if you wanted to spend that money and who else have we got here that looks like Aaron Hall back into the side uh, going for 15 bucks as a platinum player would take his average up to 171 so that's that's crazy good so we'll go through the players that I want to pick up and I'll give a little shout out to on a previous video here uh, Felix J for giving me the idea for this he's got a gold Mitch Owens for one dollar so I had a look at this and if you search Mitch Owens now Obviously, the $1 Mitch Owens is sold, but if you search Owens here as a gold forward, I can change it all to gold, and I can change it to forward, because you can get different types of players. So interestingly, there's three Mitch Owens that are uh, gold that are for sale right now. One's $9, one's $5, one's $2. Which one do you think I'm gonna go for? I'm gonna pick up Mitch Owens. If you look at his stats, He's averaging 120 points for two bucks. I think that's worth it. So I'm gonna, I've, I've topped up my account for 15 bucks today. I'm gonna get two dollars worth of Mitch Owens. I've still got, I, I want to replace three forwards in my forward line because that's my project at the moment is getting the forwards averaging closer to about 120, 130 mark, uh, particularly if they're gold. So a couple of players that came to mind for me are on the younger side, that play a bit of midfield, they get a lot of the ball, that have got good sub job security. Connor Rosie and Errol Golden. So let's just have a look at uh, what their prices would be. So you go to the transfer market and you search Rosie. You can filter the search. So let's just say I'm curious about gold and I want the forward version. Forward version. So what do we got here? We've got several going here. Uh, the cheapest one is $7.50 from what I can tell. What would a silver one cost? just for argument's sake. Looks like there are none on the market at the moment. So let's go back to gold, 139.4. And I do think this is a good value buy because Connor Rosie could potentially become a premier midfielder of the competition. So if I'm getting him as a gold forward, longer term, uh, I want to be spending uh, the money that I have on long-term options. I don't want to buy a one and done veteran who like a Sam Doherty who might be only around for a couple of years. Connor Rosie seems like a much better long-term option. So I'm going to pull the trigger on a $7.50 Connor Rosie. Now I'm going to do the same thing with Errol Golden. Golden? Golden? Golden. What do we got? So we got a $20 platinum one. I don't really want to get a platinum one, but if we were looking at the same sort of level in gold, uh, there's one for $4.99. So that's looking pretty pretty sweet. How much is this one? That's $19. So it's interesting to see on the market, some people are selling them for $19. Some people are selling them for uh, $4.99. That's, uh, that's pretty wild. What's the bottom one? $25. There you go. Let's just see what he would cost in silver. So he costs more in silver because of the way that people are auctioning or selling off their, their assets than he does in gold. So what do you think I'm going to do? I'm going to get the gold one, pun intended, because it's kind of like his surname, and I'm going to grab... Uh, for 100 and, 112 is his main average, 134 would be the, the boost. So I'm going to get Errol Golden. So you can see in my squad now, this is in my reserves, uh, Mitch Owens, let's look at his stats, you know, pretty consistently minimum 100 mark. He's having a great year and admittedly he's like, Sinkisilda is really good at the moment. He's playing as a forward, so he's a little bit vulnerable there if they start dropping off, but good long-term player. And then uh, Connor Rosie as well, I think 
irrespective of how Paul goes, Connor Rosie is going to be getting the ball, um, provided he stays fit. So I think I'm really happy with that one. 192 would have, uh, if I'd had him two weeks ago, would have been the score for that game. So uh, for the price I paid, that's that's easy. And then, uh, yeah, Errol Golden would have been 162 if he'd been in my squad now. So really improving on the, the Charlie Camerons, potentially even Oscar Allen, Cam Zerha in my forward line there. So if I go to my cards here, maybe as much as it pains me as an Eagles fan, I start to think about selling Oscar Allen. So there you have it, guys. That is uh, the changes that I've made to my squad. Uh, unfortunately, as because of the bug, I can't actually insert them into the squad yet. So by the time the next video comes around, you'll see what they actually look like in my team. That's my update on the game day squad, guys. Hope you enjoy the video. Let me know in the comments how you're going with your players, what strategic moves have you made, and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.